So one of the things we are going to do in our app, actually for our homepage, this is the eventual homepage, which will look like the end result is this one. So definitely this would be a stateful class. And as you can see that stateful class, actually we define the class name as a homepage. So the whole class over here, and then we're gonna have app bar. So this would be our actually app bar over here, as you can see. And after that, we'll also have this uh, a home, well, if you see the code and its order, definitely we'll have block builder because we are going to use block to manage our state. Now we'll have homepage blocks and homepage states to manage the state of this whole homepage. And then one of the things that that's important inside this block builder is a container. So container would contain the whole page apart from this app bar. Now inside container we'll have scroll view now scroll view would contain a lot of sections like each of the sections as you can see over here our menu bar our slider view and our course grid over here the course is the one that we see they are all inside a custom scroll view now each of the items small sections or sub items they are inside sliver to box adapter or either sliver padding now home page text which is this one is also inside sliver to box adapter which makes a simple widget more like a sliver because of sliver to box adapter now we also have over here search view this is the also inside sliver to box adapter because originally our page would not be sliver but we'll turn it into a sliver so that's why we would be using sliver to box adapter and rest of the things items over here as you can see they're also inside the sliver padding so that we can apply padding so basically sliver padding would be for applying padding top and bottom that's why we have and right after this we see that we'll have this menu uh, slider view now slider view is also inside sliver to box adapter again the basic idea is you want to convert a widget to sliver then you have to put it inside sliver to box adapter now we do the same for menu view over here inside sliver to box adapter and after that we see that we have this sliver grid okay now the sliver grid would be actually a grid view so we'll have many courses over here which would be clickable so they have to be inside sliver so we're going to use a sliver grid to do that and since each of the items would be clickable so that's why we are going to use gesture detector now using gesture detector we are going to navigate to a course detail page so that's how our home page would look like now when you start working on home page it would not be like this it'd be very different but eventually we'll see that our home page exactly has the same architecture 